right, left, left, right, left. And then I'm going to do a bar of the second inversion. Okay, so slow, I'm going to do both of them right now. So it's going to be like... <clears throat> six tuplets. It's just manipulated different. That's it. That's all it is. Okay? It's just a matter of counting it and feeling it. Basically, what that is, this is really cool. You're just basically splitting up the paradiddles and paradiddle diddles from your hand to your bass drum. Okay, so we're utilizing the bass drum a little bit more. Okay, now how I, how I would approach this exercise is before you put it in the context, you actually got to figure out how to feel it. Okay, and the best thing to do is just to go right. That's a paradiddle. Okay, has everybody got that so far? Okay, and practicing that, that slow is going to help you build up your foot for that diddle, okay? Because once you get faster, it's a lot more difficult than that. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this exercise. Now I wrote the exercise for actually a five-piece drum set. Okay, so when you look at the music, I want I'm going to use the first two parts on this tom and then the last part for this one. Okay, so the exercise goes like this. Okay, now I'm going to utilize the left hand too because it's also just as important as the right one. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do a left handed one, left handed paradigm. Splitting up the paradiddles and it's teaching you what? Control. Control, exactly. It's teaching you control. It's teaching you how to be linear and approach it instead of just doing it on a drum. You know, you're going across and you're splitting it up. want to do it's going to be really hard to come out of it because what you have to do is you have to literally go what you want to kind of do is you want to do like a double stop for example like and then go into it okay so let's just do a slower example of that
you can stop it and then go into something else. You know what I mean? So that way, instead of trying to do a real fast three, you can stop it and then you can have room to do it again. Okay? Now moving on with the same thing, six tuplets. Okay? You can do the same thing with the six tuplets. Okay? Just by going right, right, right. And you just do that over and over. What you can do is you can do it off your left too. Go a little faster. Okay. Now going across the drums. Six tuplet in 12 8, but I started in what? 4 4. Okay? So the rhythm was different because it was a 16th note triplet instead of what? A compound triplet. Okay? So now, just playing in 12 8. than say just doing pair to the diddles because you're splitting it up, okay? But it's really, really a cool lick to do, you know? I mean, it could be, you can put it just about in anything. You can even make it a groove, like. 